All right, guys, so we're gonna try to get Rumpel's whole body in the frame today. So here we go. All right, first step, tap her with the hook and start feeding her body out. You guys probably can't see anything. Okay, this is the hard part. So we got her head here. Now we gotta feed her body out. Rumples likes to attach her tail to everything she can in the enclosure. So we kind of slowly feed her out here. You don't want to be too rough with them. You know, give them time to kind of adjust to coming out. And then this is the next move I do. I call this the shuffle, the snake shuffle. So I kind of toss her over one of my shoulders like this, feed her up. Oh, and now she's stuck on her rock. All right, and then I go like this, shuffle her up. Ugh. Okay, look at that. Oh, you still can't see her. <laughs> Here we go. We got it. <laughs> Woo! Say hi, Rumps. Say hi. She's like, what are you doing? Woo! Worked up a sweat. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. So whenever I hand handle her, what I like to do with these big snakes here is I always keep a shoulder free like this. Um, see a lot of people handle big constrictors and they put them around like that. It just makes me nervous. They're not gonna like try to strangle you, but um, sometimes they kind of grip on you if they're scared they're gonna fall. So they will, you know, use their whole body and kind of use your neck as a tree trunk. So yeah, I like to keep a free shoulder out at all times. As you can see, Rumps is attached to my leg here. And wants to explore the floor. Shuffle. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of how I um, take her out. A lot of people ask me, you know, if they're smaller like me or like some women, they ask if it's hard to handle these guys. And obviously, judging by me being out of breath and sweaty right now, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but with practice, you eventually get used to it. And you just always wanna be cautious with these guys because you could tell, you know, she's a lot bigger than me. So if she was aggressive, this could be dangerous, but I make sure I use a lot of precautions. And you know, I've had her for about 14 years. I know her body language, I could tell when she's pissed. So she just wants to explore and grip onto my foot. <laughs> but yeah, got her entire body in the shot might be a little sweaty out of breath but we did it Woo! all right say bye oh yes we're hissy i know i know oh god and this is the second hardest part she's using me as a rock right now slither back into her cage. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> Just letting her do her thing. You know, all I got is time, Rumps. And her tail is going to drop. You want to catch it? <laughs> this just shows how much she likes her enclosure. Just crawls right back in when she's had enough of me. There we go. All right, we did it, guys. <laughs>